Amusement parks have been around for over a century. Haunted houses aren't a new concept, but amusement parks that are actually haunted? Believe it or not, they exist. Across the world, there are many mysterious occurrences that whittling down the list to the top 10 was challenging. So turn the lights on and grab some sage because you are about to get spooked. Find out which haunted park has guests reporting new sightings to this day. Number 10. Lake Shawnee in Princeton, West Virginia A popular site for ghost hunters, this deserted park is chock full of eerie vibes. The bad luck started when the Clay family claimed the land as their own in 1783. However, the Shawnee tribe already considered the land theirs and, after warning the family to leave, decided to up the ante by killing two of their children and kidnapping a third child who they later planned to burn at the stake. Needless to say, Mr. Clay didn't take too kindly to this, and he gathered a group of fellow settlers to enact their own bloody revenge. Despite this history, in 1920 the land was purchased to create a family-oriented amusement park. Though the park was popular, it eventually seemed to take on the curse of the land. In 1950, a little girl in a pink dress was riding on the big swings when a delivery truck accidentally crashed into the ride. To this day, a little girl in a bloody dress can be spotted on the swings or standing nearby the swings. Alas, she was only one of six confirmed deaths, like a boy that drowned in a swimming pond and a man that jumped off the Ferris wheel. If you think that all this bad mojo caused ghostly occurrences, then you'd be right. Besides the bloody girl, to this day people, including the current owner, claim to hear sounds like drums beating and voices chanting, while others feel someone tapping them or putting hands on their shoulders. The swings rattle when there is no wind and a figure of a man can be spotted in one specific car on the Ferris wheel. And to take the creepiness to a whole next level, at one point, archaeologists even performed a dig and found the bodies of 13 children from before the park even opened, and they believe that there are many more. Number 9. Sylvan Beach Amusement Park in Sylvan Beach, New York Another ghost hunter jaunt, this park's paranormal activity seems to happen in the arcade, though the ghosts find time to get around to other parts of the park as well. In particular, park workers claim they will sometimes buckle a little girl into a ride just to turn around a few seconds later and notice the girl has disappeared. Witnesses have heard noises in the arcade when it's empty, like footsteps, voices, knocking, or even doors closing. The main thing that occurs isn't so much spooky as it is interesting. When in the arcade at night, you can hear the sound of coins dropping. Sometimes it's just one, and sometimes it's a few, but the coins are then actually on the floor. A canvas coin bag has also been seen falling off of a table, which is said to be a bag used by the old owner, Bill. He would take his bag and go around to personally collect the coins from the different arcade machines. Number 8. Raging Waters, Los Angeles, California Years ago, a girl was said to have drowned in one of the pools at this water resort. The first aid booth where she was taken and pronounced dead is now a freezer and storage area. It is in this already creepy location where many have spotted the figure of a little girl. Workers often claim to hear footsteps when no one else is around. Most of the heebie-jeebies seem to be reserved for the guards on the night shift. They have not only heard the footsteps and seen the apparition, but they'll hear a voice calling their name. They also receive phone calls coming from the water area where she died that sometimes have static on the other end, but other times have a girl's voice saying, help me. Not surprisingly, the guards no longer like to pick up the phone when it rings. Number 7. Thorpe Park Resort, Surrey, England This is a strange story, as it seems to have been a temporarily haunted park. Thorpe Park was building a new ride when workers started refusing to work in one area. They would see objects moving, experience chills, or even claim to see a headless monk wandering around. Paranormal experts were brought in and found that pictures they took came out with orbs of light and ghostly images within them. A little research showed that there had been a burial site where that one ride was set to be built. The owners decided to heed the haunted warning and move that ride elsewhere. 
this decision seemed to have appeased the spirits from beyond, since no more headless monks have been sighted. Number 6. Holy Land Monument, Waterbury, Connecticut Most folks with an amusement park dream might picture rides and bright lights and laughter. John Greco apparently pictured a Bible-themed village of some kind. But that's not the spooky part. This attraction actually did well for itself until Greco died and it closed down. It was then that the dark veil of creepiness took over. Voices can be heard after sunset. People that try to wander through find themselves lost and unable to get out for long periods of time. But perhaps the worst thing to have taken place was the sexual assault and murder of a 16-year-old girl at the deserted site. Though no one has reported her spirit hanging around, the Holy Land has definitely lost whatever glow and allure it used to have. Number 5. Luna Park in Sydney, Australia This one is a tragedy wrapped in a ghost story wrapped in a mystery. A number of deaths have occurred at this park, including that of a snake charmer, a roller coaster rider, and a boy on a trolley. The superstar spook here is referred to as the Joker Ghost. The chilling Joker will suddenly appear in front of a train car or on the Ferris wheel and then quickly disappear. But that's not all, folks. In 1979, there was a tragic fire on the ghost train. Three of the victims were the husband and two sons of a woman who happened to be getting ice cream at the time. When going through her pictures after the nightmare, she noticed one of her sons, Damien, note that the name totally adds to the creepiness factor, was standing next to a tribal-like man in a loincloth and mask with horns. Park workers have stated they don't remember seeing him and that he definitely was not an employee. The mom remembers him casually walking up and just joining the picture as they were about to take it. Thinking at the time he was a character of some sort with the park, she thought nothing of it. The picture has since circulated on the World Wide Web, and some have noticed the eerie resemblance that the horn guy has to Moloch, an ancient god believed to require a child's sacrifice. And guess how the children need to be sacrificed? You guessed it, by getting burned in a large oven. Number 4. Takakananuma, Greenland in Fukushima, Japan if you haven't pulled out the sage yet to cleanse the space around you, well, you might want to get it ready. It's almost like this mysterious park simultaneously exists and doesn't exist. The park was once a hit, but it experienced multiple deaths that, for obvious reasons, led to it getting closed down. So far, pretty straightforward, right? Well, after closing, the park was set to be demolished and supposedly was demolished, except that the people who trekked through the forest of Fukushima have found it. One such man had his camera with him and took tons of pictures. So Mr. Camera Guy gets home and develops his pictures only to find that they were all blank, except for one. What was on that picture, you ask? A picture of the empty entrance, except now, standing in the entrance was a girl staring directly at the camera. Adding to the mystery, the man has never been seen since after this picture was supposedly taken, and there's no trace of the picture anywhere. Oh, and did we mention that the entire park is constantly surrounded in heavy fog? Sure, it's possibly related to the weather, but either way, it's creepy. Number 3. Magic Kingdom in Orlando, Florida The happiest place on Earth just got a little bit scary. It turns out there are a number of Disney-related stories, but here are just a handful that have centered around the Magic Kingdom. Some tales seem to stem from a story like the construction worker who died while building the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. If employees don't say good morning to him when they open up, then the ride won't start and there will be malfunctions and trouble throughout the day. Other ongoings are believed to be from the huge rate of people secretly dumping the ashes of loved ones by the haunted mansion, leaving a bevy of spirits lingering about. One such spirit is an old man with a cane that just walks around outside of the mansion. There are also stories of two boys who can be seen in the haunted mansion, one who cries and one who is happy. Whatever the cause, spirits seem to be abound over there in the magic land. Number 2. Shanzi Pod City Resort, New Taipei City, Taiwan What started off as a uniquely fun idea is now the stuff nightmares are made of. This park never even actually opened. 
The dream was to have rides and attractions while also having pod-shaped rooms for guests to stay in. However, as the project got further along, odd things started happening. First, a suspicious number of construction workers who were not depressed started committing suicide. Then, a strange number of car accidents began occurring on the road right by the land. All this bad luck led to no one willing to work on this project, and it eventually became an overgrown land full of weird UFO-like structures. Now, what was the cause of these hauntingly weird events? There seemed to be two theories. Some believe that the site was an old burial ground of Dutch soldiers. Others believe that the bad luck was brought to the site when a dragon statue at the front of the property near the road was knocked down for construction. Dragons are considered symbols of good luck and prosperity in Taiwan. But whether it was an angry dragon or a dead Dutchman, the world is never going to see the finished product of the pod village. Number 1. Kings Island, Mason, Ohio We started with a girl in a pink dress, so we decided to end with a girl in a blue dress. What is it about little girls in bloody dresses that send chills down everyone's spine anyway? Well, this park is still open today, but the ghosts haven't gone away. Part of this property is an actual cemetery. You know what? That honestly should have been the first sign to those that decided to build a park of fun there. Regardless, this land has a morbid history, just like Lake Shawnee. It had been the site of an ammunition factory that exploded, killing 100 people. One of those people was, you guessed it, a little girl in a blue dress. The girl in the blue dress is often seen looking sad and has been named by employees and locals who refer to her as either Missouri Jane or the Tram Girl. Another frequent ghost on the compound is Racer Boy. Dressed all in white, he hangs out unbelievably at the race car track. Many have speculated on why Racer Boy is there. One theory is that he is attached to the cars, which were originally purchased from Coney Island years ago. When in use at Coney Island, a boy once went on the ride but was not on the car when it was pulled back at the end. Looking for the missing boy, officials later found him dead. Another possible spook is a girl that drowned and now taunts the workers of a water ride. They'll spot the figure of the girl, hear giggles, and have rocks pelted at their observation tower. The most famous Kings Island ghost, though, is Tower Johnny. One night when drunk, he apparently climbed the Eiffel Tower statue, then fell down the elevator shaft to his death. Most paranormal nuances there are blamed on Johnny. When electrical shorts happen, the staff actually calls them Johnnies. Have you ever visited one of these parks? We really want to hear your story. Let us know your paranormal experiences in the comments below. Before you go, be sure to click that subscribe button. Take care!